You're watching Hoffman Family Gold in a Russian. We're recapping the season one episode, Jack Attack. So what happened? It's Jack's birthday, a fact which takes up the first four minutes of showtime. Then Todd gets an emergency call about a rock truck losing a tire. So apparently, while Todd's team was having a birthday party, the rest of the crew was actually working? But who knows, really, because the terrible editing instantly overwhelms my OCD. When Todd is at the party, he can be seen wearing a black 316 hat and a black sweatshirt under his coat. And then we see him driving away from the birthday party to the mine site, which seems to make sense. But while driving, the black sweatshirt is gone, and now we see his green t-shirt. And maybe that's okay. Then it cuts to a shot of him driving away from the mine site and back toward the party. Wait, what now? And when he arrives at the site, the black sweatshirt is suddenly back, but now his t-shirt is a different color, and he's wearing a different hat altogether. This just isn't happening. And for some safety regulation I don't understand, while driving, he needs a helmet, but at the mine site, cotton hats are apparently acceptable protection. Nonsense. Anyway, did I mention a rock truck lost a tire? The tire rim and hub need to be repaired, and with no pay coming in, the big trommel is forced to shut down. This upsets Todd so much he can't even talk to the camera for more than a few minutes. Mine owner Jason arrives, and he's not happy. And it's argument time. Jason wants it fixed, and fast, then storms away. Todd and his son think it's unfair for him to just show up and tell people to fix stuff and then not help in any way. Ironic stuff is ironic. While shut down, they pull the mats from the big trommel. Turns out they aren't getting any gold. Jack and Thurber inspect the trommel and instantly find the problem, everything. They are losing gold from the feeder box, the end of the trommel, and the end of the sluices. And it all needs to be fixed. Keep in mind it was Todd who was initially in charge of setting up the trommel, but that's all conveniently overlooked. Todd gives them one day to fix everything. Why only one day? Who knows, but I instantly went from needing my entire seat to just using the edge. It's all fixed, but it takes the rest of the episode to do so. It also takes the entire episode to put the tire back on the rock truck, which might be the longest tire replacement ever produced for television. And a cleanup produces 42.95 ounces. Blow their target again, but they all celebrate. Tune in next time when Todd crashes a rock truck. Turns out the issue was the nut holding the wheel. <laughs> Stupid. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's a really great episode. Nothing happened. Not a thing. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, watch the old episodes, leave a comment below, and I'll be back again next week.